I was born in the 50s, uh, became a computer programmer as a teenager, and uh, in the days when uh, you didn't need a degree to get into that field, uh, ended up going to work straight out of high school and uh, lived in the computer industry for a couple of decades. Gradually uh, got better at it and learned about business from it and uh, made a bunch of money in Silicon Valley decided to spend some of it being a philanthropist and sort of working on bigger problems in the world. Some of those were the Electronic Frontier Foundation, uh, working on issues that uh, computers had helped to create. Uh, others were working on drug policy issues and uh, the one we're working on today, which is uh, privacy and identity and right to move around in your own society. I guess a lot of my interactions with government have involved what I considered to be abuses of authority. Um, and so it just naturally brought out in me an inclination to oppose government authority when I thought it wasn't being exercised for some good purpose. Um, one of my mentors in the computer industry was targeted by Nixon for his anti-war activism, was arrested in Philadelphia, you know, the day before Nixon arrived, released without charges the day Nixon left. You know, that sort of thing, political repression.